Hi, Brother Teacher here. I would like to share some tips with you on wearing the mask during this COVID-19 pandemic, as they call it. First of all, let's understand something. Let's comprehend something. And I'm going to get right to the point, to the gist of the whole video. Let's understand that we are human beings. We are mammals and that we breathe oxygen. When we leave our mother's womb and the umbilical cord is cut and we are completely out of our mother's womb, we breathe oxygen for the first time in that room. And from that first day of us leaving our mother's womb, we begin to breathe oxygen until the day we die. We don't have a mask on, our face is not covered, there's no material, cloth, plastic, or anything else man-made that's over our face because we breathe oxygen to survive, to live. Does it not stand to reason that when you cover your face, your nose and your mouth, that you are limiting the amount of oxygen that you're breathing in? Note that I said limiting the amount that you're taking in. Do you want to ever have a limit on the oxygen that, that you're supposed to be breathing? I don't think so. So, this is a paper mask. Real common. We see these from day to day. Watch enough videos. Watch people in your community, neighborhoods. This is disposable. It can be thrown away. Okay, I sell these in my store again. Now, paper. Here's just one. A white cloth mask. This one can be reused, washed, and reused. This one, thrown away. Now, if you have this on your face, understand this. In the air, there's all types of germs, bacteria, viruses, and even fungus, microbes in the air. It's just simply there just by us moving around. We stir it up. Example, if you have carpet in your home, let's say you never walk into the living room and it's carpeted. I can guarantee you that if you were to take a vacuum cleaner that was empty, that you would pick up dirt, microbes, dust, and so forth. Why? Because it's in the air all of the time. It's stirring around. Just because you can't see everything in the air does not mean that it's not there. Take that vacuum, go across that carpet. You're going to pick up some dirt, some dust, some mites, and whatever else in that vacuum cleaner. You're going to do that, and you know this to be true. The same is true when your car is sitting outside. It's not raining. There are no trees around. After a couple days, you can go take your finger, cross the top of your car, windshield, or just the trunk or the hood. You're going to get dust or dirt. Why? It's in the air. It gets kicked up. So do you honestly think that when you have this on your face, that whatever's in the air does not land on it? As soon as you take this out of the package and put it on, it's contaminated. If you want to be real. And this right here, same difference. It's contaminated. How in the world can you protect yourself 100% when germs, bacteria, and viruses are all over all the time? You can't do it unless you live in a bubble somewhere. When I touched this mask, it became contaminated. I would have to be consciously aware of everything that I do from second to second, touching this, leaning. I'm picking up something all of the time on my body. 
no one can consciously be aware of, of every few seconds of everything that they do, everything that they touch. You can't do it. You couldn't function in society. So whether I have the disposable mask or the cloth mask, even the pretty cloth mask with all of the designs everyone is into right now, it doesn't matter. It just means that you look cute with all of these different styles of mask. And I understand you know, sort of takes down some of that stress. Let's just make it uh, out of a game. But this is a very serious game that we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen, when we take away the oxygen that we're breathing. That's required for us to live. Again, you're gonna throw this away, right? It can become very expensive to buy these things. You know, so, has anyone in power or position thought about this? All of the people that they're trying to mandate wear a mask, there are some people on a low or limited income. Can they afford to buy even the paper mask? Or will one paper mask do for a whole week? I think not. Will a paper mask do for two days? I think not. I've seen people wearing these disposable masks for several days and they're becoming dirty and dingy looking. It's defeating the purpose. Once you put this on, it starts to become contaminated right then and there. Where does your oxygen come from when you have this mask on? Here? Where's it coming from? Inside the mask? No, it's not in there. There's nothing in there. Automatically, I'm laboring to breathe in oxygen because there's a barrier between me and the atmosphere which contains the oxygen that I so desperately need and you and your children, your family. So you can't afford to buy these things every day if you are on a limited income. Not to mention the cloth one. You're gonna to have to wash this thing on a regular basis or you're gonna to have to have one for every day or two for every day of the week for it to be even sort of effective. So what do I suggest? I suggest that when you're out in the public first of all if there's a place that you know that you need to go hospital doctor's office uh some public venue that's necessary for you to go to a shopping mall to get food for your home and so forth and if it's their requirement that you wear a mask wear it 